asks, how can one benchmark disk performance on a SQL Server platform as a service, so like Azure SQL DB or Amazon RDS? I'd like to ensure that we're getting the disk performance that we're paying for. However, I understand Crystal Disk Mark is meant to run locally from an operating system. So you can't directly uh, troubleshoot or um, performance test disk. You can indirectly do it by doing things like write tests, by writing synthetic load tests to insert data into a table and see how much you can insert. To do this, let's talk a little bit more deeply about how this works, because this is kind of fun and I love doing stuff like this. Uh, and do I have any clients who ever pay me for this? No, this is just something that I love doing whenever Microsoft or Amazon uh, tells me that they've solved a disk bottleneck issue. I'm like, really, watch this. And then let's go run a load test together and see how it works. So in order to understand it, what you wanna do is you wanna have a table where every row is one 8K page. You're gonna define the data types on that table so that one row takes up exactly one 8K page. And then you're gonna see how many rows per second that you can load. You're gonna do it over an extended period of time, say like uh, five, 10, 15 minutes, so that you can know you're saturating past any easy caching mechanisms. And you're gonna see to take the number of pages, or number of rows, same thing, the number of rows that you were able to write during that time, uh, take that's eight kilobytes, convert it into gigabytes or megabytes, whichever unit of measure you like better, and that'll tell you how many megabytes or gigabytes per second or per minute uh, that you were able to load through their disk subsystems. Now, is that exactly accurate? No, because of course with B-trees, there are supporting mechanisms where you're gonna be writing additional 8K pages, but it'll at least get you a rough starting point of whether or not it's even close. Um, also, make sure to read the documentation. That, that sounds kind of obvious and self-serving, uh, but read the documentation because the vendors will usually flat out tell you, uh, here's, here are the bottlenecks on how much you're allowed to write in megabytes per second uh, to the transaction log. Let's see here, how long we've been going? Oh goodness, we've been going quite a while. All right, we'll do one more. Oh, this is a good one, let me. I gotta load up Polegab again here to make sure I can record this.